Hi guys, welcome to Sanvi Imagines and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make code a canvas app in code.org. First, let me give you a demonstration of my app. Okay, so this is a canvas. And so these are the colors which can come out and got red, orange, can really do anything. There's an eraser and a clear canvas. So let's get started with the video. Okay, so I'm here at code.org. We need to go to my dashboard. So if you're not in my dashboard, show you it's right here. Okay. So I'm gonna just click on my dashboard. Great. Okay, now let me just erase that. Okay. So once you're on my dashboard, scroll all the way down, click on app land, name your project, name it canvas painting. Oh yeah, let me just erase this real quick. Answer. Okay, great. Canvas painting. Now, first let's change the name of the screen painting. And we need a canvas for people to paint on, obviously. Yeah. Canvas. Okay, so I'm going to make this canvas as big as the screen. Okay, great. Now let's start coding the canvas. So first, I'm going to be coding in text. You can also code in blocks, which I'll say the blocks are donate. So if you're coding blocks or text, first, you're going to set the active canvas so it knows to respond to your commands. Put it in the ID canvas one. And do the same colon, some colon. Great, now we need to set the stroke and fill color. Stroke color. Show you guys, I'm gonna set it to black. So you guys can see it on the screen. And we're gonna set the fill color too. To black as well. Okay, and we're gonna, now we wanna make that squiggly line that comes so the person can draw, you know. And that we're gonna do. Okay, so once you've got that, let's drag out on event block right here. On event on canvas one, when the mouse moves, we're just gonna declare a function called painting or paint. Paint is defined but not called in your program. That's okay because we're gonna do that right now. Let's take a circle first because actually those lines that you saw in the demo were actually lots of circles not just lines so let's take a circle and let's use that function paint dot x comma paint dot y comma let's do nine Send cool okay now let's run Okay, yeah, one second. Oh, this is Canvas 2, that's why. Never mind. Make sure you got the ID right. Okay, now let's run. Oh, yeah, and I wants to change that. Okay, yeah, but it's really important to get your ID right. Okay, now let's run, finally, and we can make black squiggly line yeah and actually circle so if you just like you can't see it right now because we coded mouse move but if you just tap your circle okay now let's reset and now we have to make a color palette so color palette is basically lots of buttons that when you click them changes the stroke and fill color okay so let's take a button and this is the first button of our color palette. Leave that as button one, we can change it to red. You do rainbow colors. Change it to red. Now just go and make lots of oh, background color as red. Background color, red. 
Yes, red. Okay. Now I'm gonna make so many more buttons. I'm gonna uh, fast forward that part. So yeah, make as much color buttons as you want. Make sure to include the clear and erase buttons too. Okay, so this is the color palette and yeah, okay. Yeah, this is the color palette. Now let's actually code it. So press enter right here. You don't wanna press enter here or everything is gonna come inside the uneven block. Press enter and you can drag out another on event. On event. Okay, let's start with the red. On event button one is clicked. Set stroke stroke color to red. Set fill color to red and semicolon. Let's try that out. Okay. So you got a black, red, and you got our red. Great. Okay. Now we are just gonna repeat the same steps for the rest of the ones. So for that, I'm gonna do blocks. And if you hold down your mouse pointer, you can copy and then paste. So that's gonna be orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, black, eraser, and clear. Okay. So we got red, and now I'm gonna fast forward this too. Okay, so once you get to the part where you're up to the eraser, you wanna set both of them to white. Because you're not really erasing, you're just covering it up with white. And since our background is white, it looks like you're erasing. If your background is something else, set the eraser to a different color. Okay, and for clear, actually, we don't need this. Can erase that, all of that, and then just press enter here. Oh yeah, and then backspace. And then instead of that, we're gonna need clear canvas, semicolon. That's it. We just finished our whole thing. Let's just try it out. Okay, so we have our black. And actually at the beginning, I'm gonna change it just to white because I want it to instantly start drawing. I just did black so you guys to see it was working. Yep. Great, okay. Now let's run a program. Nothing will happen, obviously. Let's draw a rainbow just to check everything's working. So red is working nice as I showed you. Let's click on our orange. By the way, this is just a code. I'm not like, this is not to be such a perfect rainbow anyway. Yellow, we got our greens. Our blues, oh, blues. Our indigo. Our violet or pink. And then just our black. Let's see if our eraser button works. Yes, it does. Our clear canvas. Oh. One second. Let me just go check the code. On oh, yeah. I forgot to change the button. <laughs> it's button 10, not button one. Okay. Button 10. Okay, that should 100% work. Okay, let's just try clearing some simple black. Yay. Okay, so our Canvas app is done. If you've coded in text like me, and if you click show blocks, this is the code that you've done in blocks. So now have some fun. Draw whatever you want on your new Canvas app. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. Bye.